it's been months, probably six months, since I last played this game, since I last loaded it up. And I got chills just seeing that uh, that little start screen there. And that's what I'm hoping to feel when I load up Tears of the Kingdom. I haven't played Breath of the Wild in probably over a year, just to have this fresh feeling again on Tears of the Kingdom, because it is going to be a similar game to Breath of the Wild. But I'm uploading this video just kind of, kind of as a ramble video, uh, an update video, to kind of say what's going on. So first, I have to check my Pokemon, because I haven't even seen this game in a long time. As you can see, I've got quite the collection of Shinies, but not too many at the same time. My goal was to get uh, all of the Shinies in this game, every single one. So I will be checking my notes here for a bit. I, I uh, kind of scripted this, but also kind of didn't. I'm probably going to go way off script and just forget to say things, but... So basically, all I've done... Gosh, I don't even know how to use, play this game anymore. Um, all I've done on this channel so far is Pokemon content. All I've done is Pokemon content, and I plan on changing that. I'm going to be playing a bunch of... Yeah, see, I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. <laughs> Planning on playing a bunch of Tears of the Kingdom, and I really can't play and, and think at the same time. So I really want to play Tears of the Kingdom, and from what I've heard from people that have, uh, you know, gotten the game early through various means, uh, it's a long game, and there's a lot of content to it, and there's an issue with that. Not with the game itself, but with uh, content creation here. A lot of Pokemon YouTubers are going to be playing the game, and it means a lack of Pokemon content, but also there's Pokemon content that we kind of... I mean, we don't have to do, but I want to do, because I'm trying to get every event Pokemon I can on uh, Scarlet and Violet, and that includes the Chestnut 7-star raid that is on launch day of Tears of the Kingdom. So, and there's going to be others, of course, while throughout the time that we are all going to be playing Tears of the Kingdom, there's going to be more seven star raids and more uh, events just in general. I have a couple, just two, videos already recorded, but I just have to edit them and I've been slacking. But yeah, they're, they're actual videos, not like raid videos, like actual content. And, of course, I still have my goals of catching every single shiny variant of every Pokemon in, in Scarlet and Violet, and, of course, in this game as well, in, in Legends Ar Arceus, Arceus, whatever you want to call it. So, I mean, it's kind of a problem, you know. I, I've got three games... Well, Scarlet and Violet's kind of boring right now for me, which is why I've come back to this game. But it's only three days until... Uh, Tears of the Kingdom, so I've, I mean, it's, it, it's kind of an issue, right? I got three games to play, well, soon enough three games to play, I got two right now, and they're all long games, right? Or at least the goals are long. So Tears of the Kingdom is going to be a very long game itself, but then I've got this game where I think I need like still a hundred or something Pokemon uh, to shiny. And because I'm not just getting all of the evolved forms, I'm getting all of them. So, like, for example, there's Abras here, and Kadabras, and uh, Alpha Alakazam somewhere. Yeah, I need all of those shiny. I'm not doing the Alpha shiny decks just yet. If I find them, I catch them, obviously, but... Um, yeah. Some are harder than others. So, yeah, so basically the, the point is... I'm going to be making content on all three of those games. Scarlet and Violet, Pokemon Legends Arceus, and Tears of the Kingdom. It's just I have no idea when those videos will come out, what quality they'll be. Like, Tears of the Kingdom is going to take up 
loads of time. I might not even upload at all except for, uh, you know, raid videos to try to get those out on time. But, yeah, it's, it's going to be difficult to uh, kind of get all that out. Oh, yeah. That was the other issue. So, not... The reason I haven't been playing Scarlet and Violet is because there's no home compatibility, and there's no sight of it either. Like, they haven't talked about it since Pokemon Day, I'm pretty sure, and that was in February. And people are saying it'll probably be after the last uh, starters that they release, the last 7-star starter raid, but that's going to be another few weeks, or like a month. So... We're kind of like out of luck as far as that's concerned. If you if you wanted to transfer your Pokemon over to Pokemon Home, you really can't. I mean, you absolutely can't. So and, and Austin John plays just released well not just but he did release his uh, his spreadsheet. So now we can catch every single Pokemon and put it into the spreadsheet and feel happy about ourselves for 100%ing a game that really you probably shouldn't 100%. And that's what I plan on doing. So with no home compatibility, I can't really finish Scarlet and Violet the way I want to because, I mean, I'm kind of scared. Like, there was that glitch that deleted everybody's save files. And I ain't trying to lose my shinies that I spent, you know, a few hundred hours on. But that's pretty much all I had to talk about, and I am going to spend a few minutes to try to find a shiny this video so it isn't completely devoid of content. But to reiterate though, in a less rambly way, uh, Pokemon content is still going to happen. Expect Tears of the Kingdom videos soon, as soon as the game drops, and hopefully I'll have more proper content, like edited videos, soon. Oh! What that? Oh, he's gone. And <laughs> I did not save before this, so for like two outbreaks, so yep, that's a rip. Pretty sure he is gone. I think once the basculins go underwater, they are gone forever. Unlucky. Brawl. I would never know that that was shiny, <laughs> other than that hearing that sound. All right. Well then, I guess we chuck balls. Uh... This would look good in a gigaton ball, I think. Whoops. If I throw the ball properly. Ah yes. Somebody's mowing their lawn, just in time. Well, hopefully you guys can't hear that, but I got a Staravia on the way to something else. All right, well, that's good. Um, yeah, after missing that Basculin earlier, I was uh, kind of sad. But I hate water encounters in this game. Like, they're impossible. And actually, now that I think of it, that was actually an Alpha Staravia, so... Uh, even better than that Basculin, because it was not an Alpha. And I think that's actually the static spawn for that Staravia, so... Kind of interesting. Here is the Staravia that I caught, the shiny one. The shiny Alpha one. Very nice. It has ominous wind for some reason. It's adamant. Bro. What a nice girl. Anyway, that'll be added to the collection. Nice. Well, that's going to be basically it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching, and I hope you all enjoyed the video, and I really hope that you all enjoy Tears of the Kingdom when it comes out on the 12th. But till then, take care, and we'll see you later.